This is day one of Columbia field work, November 2023. This is the third tree we climbed today. Got a camera trap up here. We'll show you some images later. All of these cameras were set up in March and we left uh, a hide line in all of the trees and in two of them it was busted. So we had to reset the line, which slows us down. We were gonna get to four trees today, but there's the camera, and here's what the camera sees. Dun dun. We want to see. We want to see which animals have crossed this branch, and then we use statistical methods to determine how much forest do we need in this uh, landscape of pastures and and human modified habitats. How much forest do we need to preserve each type of species, whether it's a howler monkey or a spider monkey or a TT monkey or a porcupine or whatever. And the cool thing is, is that on the ground, whoop, whoop down there, we have a, a paired ground trap, camera trap, trail camera, taking photograph of uh, photos of jaguars and ocelots and pumas and things like that. And then we can really map how much habitat do we need to have a complete ecosystem of all the predators and their prey? Because they all have an impact on the forest, the regeneration of trees, because animals on the ground and in the tree take seeds all over the forest and distribute them when they're eating them. And those trees get planted. The predators eat the seed dispersers and it just gets kind of complicated. So with that technology and this technology, we're able to do some cool stuff to protect the forest and the animals. That's how it works. Thanks.